Hi, hello, welcome back to our channel. So today we are going to see about the exam called NEXT. So uh, the NEXT exam is being launched by the government and how it is conducted and when it's going to uh, get implemented and who all going to attend it and what is the process being in the NEXT exam, how it is going to be conducted. So for all these questions, we have an answer. So watch till the end to know more about the exam called NEXT. So next exam is uh, considered to be the exit exam of uh, all the medical graduates like MBBS and BDS are compulsorily to attend the exam called NEXT. So in NEXT we have two parts, NEXT 1 and NEXT 2. So before going in depth into the NEXT, any UG graduates of MBBS or BDS can attend this NEXT exam. and. Uh, if you are in final year, it is compulsory to attend it. If you have completed the uh, UG graduation and you have registered it and then also you can attend the next exam for your PG seat. And if you are in final year, uh, present final year 2023 final year, you can uh, apply for next exam. So presently AIMS is ready to conduct this exam and uh, maybe tentatively the May 2024 whole uh, government will be ready to conduct this next exam. So this May 2024 is a tentative date, it is not confirmed yet but still they have uh, fixed a target to get ready for the next exam by May 2024. So this next exam is not just for the Indian graduates, even the abroad foreign um, doctors who have completed their UG in foreign universities can appear for um, exams in India to work in India, they can appear for next. So when it comes to the process of next, we have two portions of exams like next one and next two. So this next one is whole of theory and it is of MCQ and which is covering the subject starting from uh, first year to the final year similar to the need which we are writing now. So it is similar to the same need which we are writing now but the exam questions will be like of uh, uh, 540 questions. So 60% will be problem solving, 30% will be comprehensive and 10% will be like recall. So the uh, overall uh, examination will be conducted for 540 questions and there will be no uh, negative markings as of now they have uh, declared as no negative markings in the exam and in that also it will be conducted like in your final year. So next one will be conducted in your final year after clearing next one you will be entering the internship. So what is the qualifying mark for entering the internship is 50%. So if it is of uh, 540 marks for 540 marks the pass percentage will be like 50 percent then it will it is like nearing to 300 or scoring like around 300 you will be qualified for your internship so with this next one mark you can apply for your pg seat and according to the ranking system you will be get uh, allotments in the government aspect so when you have completed and cleared the next one exam you will be entering the uh, internship and you will be doing your one year internship and when you complete your internship there will be a next two exam. So next two exam is like not pass percentage or uh, fail percentage it is like pass or fail. So there will be no scores there will be no uh, uh, marking system and all it is like full of practicals and it will be conducted from the university side. So only when you complete your next two exam and get qualified uh, or you get passed, you will be uh, eligible to apply for your license. So if you didn't pass in your next two exam, then you will be again writing your next one and you will be clearing the next one and doing your internship for one year or wait for one year and then attend your next two exam and clear it and then you can apply for your license. So the next one mark can be kept for three years. So the validity for next one um, scores is for three years. You can complete your next two and then apply for your PG seat with the marks you scored in your next one and you can get your PG seat. So basically the next one is of full of theory and next two is full of practicals. 
So, we have a time span of 10 years to appear for this exam like the date when you join the MBBS or BDS from then we have 10 years time to apply for next one and next two. So, uh, there is no limitations like you have to appear for three times or four times we can appear how many ever times we want, but we have to complete it within 10 years. So, foreign graduates can appear for next one exam and get qualified do one year internship in India and appear for next two exam and after clearing they can apply for the license in India to work. So, I have given the maximum information what I know. So, if at all I get any other information we will share it with you. So, never forget to subscribe the channel.